I've been feeling good this week despite all this isolation. I remember that for the first week of this uh, isolation, I was kind of like, yay, vacation. And I remember that I went to the store, I grabbed some snacks, I was in my house watching TV the entire week not doing anything productive. I was procrastinating and all of this stuff until I realized that that was not working for me at all. I know that some of you still have a job or taking classes online, but I don't. It's been already one month in isolation and I have to tell you that I don't have a job and I'm not going to classes. So I don't have anything to keep my mind busy, right? So I remember that one day I sat down, I was like, I cannot continue this. I have to stop and I started with this question. One day I was very frustrated because I didn't want to do what I was doing at that moment. And then I stopped what I was doing and I asked myself, okay, you don't want to do this. What will you be doing right now if it's not this, if you don't have to do this? That day came again and I asked myself right now in the quarantine, what will you be doing? I wrote in a piece of paper things that I really want to do here in the house, meaning that it was productive or not productive, but at least it will make me do stuff out of my comfort zone or keep me busy and sane here in the house. So the first one is learning something new. I went to the bookstore a long time ago and I bought this. It was like a package type of thing. I learned American Sign Language. I got it because it was a discount and I thought that it was something interesting to do or to learn or just like uh, to open it and see what it was about. So I got that. I put it on my bookshelf and I never, never open it at all until a few days ago. I'm like, okay, I need to learn something new. I have to keep myself productive and busy. So I open it and it was actually pretty good. I like all the stuff that it has inside. It uh, has the alphabet, the numbers, some words, some phrases, flashcards. I don't know, it's kind of very interesting and I really enjoy it. That's what I've been doing, I've been learning that. Also, I realized that I have a lot of books that I haven't read at all. Now, it seems like I have a lot of stuff to read. The other thing that I want to share with you is video chat. I have family in Mexico and I've always been very, very busy. And when I want to call them, sometimes they are at work or vice versa, and we don't have the time to have that connection. You're not even like phone call. The only thing that we do is just sex and that's it, but it's not the same. So I decided to do this very often. I video chat my grandma, my family to see how they're doing. And the result is very surprising. I remember that one day I called them and I was feeling kind of not sad, but I wasn't feeling it, right? So I called them and I started talking about random stuff. And then we started laughing about the past when I was little and they were telling me this like stories. And that really made my day. It made me go back to my past when I was little and remind me where I came from. And I really like that a lot. I enjoy it. You have no idea. Just try that. It doesn't have to be your family. Just call your friends, call some acquaintances. I don't know. Just try that and see how it works. For me, it was a yes. I will do it very often. I always wanted to experiment cooking different stuff in the house, but I didn't have a lot of time to do it. So I was always in my comfort zone doing this very quick stuff like rice, beans, and that's it, and a salad. Super easy, right? So now that I have the time, I took my time to cook something different. I don't know if you know, but I really like Asian cuisine. I'm not an expert or anything, but I've been doing that. I've been searching some recipes and I try to convert them vegan or vegetarian if it's possible. And to be honest, some of them are pretty tasty. I think I'll be doing this very often. This is a time when I realized that even after quarantine, I should pamper myself. I should pamper myself and do something new to break that routine, to break that pattern. Uh, at least that's what I think. I really think that that really worked for me. Let's go with the next one. Keep active. 
In my daily basis, I always go to the gym. I really like to go to the gym. I don't have gym in my house. I don't have weights. I don't have anything here in my house to do workouts. I think that that's the main reason why I was feeling bad the second week because I didn't have that activity to take all my frustrations or stress from the week and I was feeling like anxiety. I didn't have anything to get rid of this extra energy that I had. So I have to tell you that I tried this in my house. First, I have never, never tried yoga. And I did. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it. It's more that I don't know anything about it. So I searched some videos on YouTube, yoga for beginners, and I like it. I don't know what how to feel about it because I, I don't even know if I'm doing it right. It's so different when you're doing it in front of a computer than with an instructor. Of course, I cannot do it with an instructor right now, but still, I try it, it's interesting, and I don't know, I might keep doing this after the quarantine and put it on my daily basis, maybe, I don't know, but for now, I really enjoy it, and the time goes fast, because at least I spend like an hour or something doing that, and then I feel like relaxed and calm. I like it. This is another thing that I really like and enjoy. I found a album. Pictures from my past when I was little. And it made me realize... Here it is. <laughs> It made me realize a lot of stuff. Actually, this made me feel nostalgic, but not the bad kind. All this made me think and remember where I came from and how I've been growing up as a person. In the end, this helped me realize a lot of stuff I was doing and I'm not doing anymore. And to be honest, I feel very proud of who I am. And I feel happy about that. I feel very proud of myself because now that I realize and I turn back, it's just like, oh, okay, you're doing it right. And that's what I think. That's what I think. I really think that I'm doing right. <laughs> I'm becoming a very, very strong woman. I feel that. And I really, I'm really proud of that. And also make me remember all the happy times that I had with my family back in Mexico. And I don't know, it's kind of uh, very cute, very nice. I have to show you something. This picture make me, make me remember <laughs> when I was little. I used to be in front of the mirror all the time singing and dancing and I don't know it was just one of those happy moments and funny moments that I have in my mind and I'm like hmm where did that girl came from like where is she where is that girl I don't know it's just very funny like I was like, oh yeah, uh, 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 uh. It was crazy. I like to put all my family in the living room and then I was in the middle. I played the music and I was in front of them singing and dancing, doing my choreography. And I'm pretty sure I was very bad at it because most of them, they were like, eh, yeah. But they watched me until the end. That's amazing. That's just, it's something that I cannot explain. Of course guys, I've been doing more stuff. I've been cleaning the house, I've been cooking, I've been reading, I've been doing all this productive stuff. But I'm pretty sure that at the end of this quarantine, I really want to come out with something new, at least an entire book that I already read, a new dish, new videos for YouTube. I don't know, like more stuff. My goal is that at the end of this quarantine is to be like I did something productive that I spent my entire time watching TV. I don't know, that's me. That's my that's a personal preference, of course. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I think I give you like five ideas of what I've been doing. I hope these ideas work for you and makes you feel better. Remember to take some time to pamper yourself, to be with yourself, to rethink your choices. The only thing that I can say is to stay safe, stay home. I wish you a wonderful rest of the week. Thanks for watching this video and I guess I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!